We all have that friend that takes five minutes to tell a 30 second story. And the funny thing is a lot of us are just like that but when it comes to prompt engineering. Sometimes we have the tendency to think that the more we jam in to one prompt, the better that prompt is gonna perform, even when we can actually compress and make it more succinct and get a very similar outcome. What I'm going to quickly introduce in this video is the concept of prompt compression. And if you're not familiar with the concept, it's pretty much like taking a prompt and then zipping it down and compressing it to a much more lean version of that prompt that can still generate the same or similar outcome. This is especially useful if you have some form of character constraint, let's say in a custom GPT, or if you're trying to make a very lean down and succinct prompt, let's say for a voice agent application. No matter the application, having this skill set in your toolbox is gonna make you that much better of a prompt engineer. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mark and I run my own AI automation agency called Prompt Advisors for the past two years. I've worked in the data science and AI sphere for the past 10 years, and we've worked with hundreds of clients to implement generative AI where it fits best in their workflows. I'm gonna first jump into some slides to break down the concept as simple as I can, and then I'll show you both the lazy method and then the technical method to do prompt compression to help you with whatever use case you're dealing with. So let's dive right in. So the problem we're trying to solve is basically being able to take a large, possibly bloated prompt, and then picking the words or tokens that really matter and make an influence on the outcome to make it more succinct and lean without losing too much performance. If you're not familiar with what the word token means, for the sake of this video, let's assume that it's a proxy for a word. As they are today, large language models aren't inherently quote unquote smart or intelligent. They're probabilistic, meaning when you enter and send a prompt, it's basically calculating the probability of the most likely tokens or words that you're expecting as the output before it actually comes out with that output. Some of these tokens or words are less important to actually calculate the probability of what it thinks you want as your end state. So if we take an example prompt, like I want you to create a travel blog post, technically want to is a bit superfluous, meaning we won't necessarily need those tokens necessarily to calculate the proper probability of what I want as a result, which is a blog post or a blog about traveling. LLMs are also really good at autocorrect. So you can sometimes, sometimes misspell certain words and it would still understand exactly what you mean. So it's all about how can you lean things down in a way, either the lazy way or the technical way I'll show you to make it more succinct and compact to not only save money on the tokens you're using, but in general have leaner prompts you're dealing with versus something that's two to four pages long. So this diagram comes from Microsoft and all I care for you to kind of interpret from it is that on the left side here, we have a large prompt. So let's say this was a starting of 13,000 tokens or quote unquote words. So the idea is, through some technical expertise, you can use a very small language model, let's say GPT-2, to look for the tokens of high value and retain those and remove the tokens that are lower value are again, superfluous. And the end goal is that you get something like this, which is around 2000 tokens, which is representative enough of what you were trying to explain to the LM without actually spending the additional 10 to 11,000 tokens. Now, how do we accomplish this? You have a lazy method where technically we can write a prompt and design a prompt to take an example bloated prompt and just through natural language, look for the high value words and compress it down. On the other hand, we can use an algorithm to look for key tokens that can be completely removed versus paraphrased. And in this case, it will look like you have a bunch of sentence fragments and grammar mistakes, but it will still make sense to the underlying LLM in most cases. Since I think that the majority of you will resonate with more of the lazy method, I'll start with that and then I'll work my way to the technical side. So I put together a custom GPT called prompt compression where you can use this to click on compress my prompt and then it will ask you for your initial prompt and then show you the before and after after it does the natural language version of compression. So if we go to my other ChatGPT window here, I've used meta prompting to create a fake, very verbose and bloated prompt that basically is writing about a travel blog about Qatar. And I'm only bringing that up because I'll be traveling there in a few weeks. So it was top of mind. So if I take this here and I paste it into my custom GPT, it will not only compress it using natural language, basically taking out all the words that don't matter while still maintaining the actual coherence of the prompt. You'll see it's gonna generate the before and then the after. And I designed it so you can copy both very easily, especially if you wanna test them out. So it finished running and it now created the compressed version of this prompt. And if you wanna compare the actual characters, we can go to character counter, wordcounter.net. And then we can take this version, copy it, paste it here. So in this case, we have 3,354 characters. If we want to actually take this into tokens, we can say 
tokenizer at platform.openai.com. You can actually paste this here and it will tell you how many tokens it is approximately. So in this case, it says 621 tokens. If we go back to the GPT and we go back to the compress prompt, we'll paste this here. You'll see here it's half the size of the characters. And if we go to tokens, it is almost more than half of the tokens used. And if you take a look at these prompts, pretty much the way it's good at compressing it through natural language is LLMs really like lists of things because it's very easy to follow it step by step. And again, if you keep in mind that these aren't intelligent as of today, they are trying to calculate a probability of what you want the outcome to be. This is a very succinct and easy way to explain the same thing, but very briefly. One extra feature I added in this custom GPT is it will explain exactly what it did to help you understand what is the delta between before and after. So if you read here, this compression retains the prompt structure, consolidates similar elements like highlighting cultural sites and attractions, and removes redundancies. It captures the essential content without losing key details. So this is one way to do compression of a prompt. And if you're curious what my prompt looks like behind the scenes, it basically says this, you are a prompt compression assistant. When a user says compress my prompt, prompt them to provide the text they'd like to compress and then follow these steps. So in this case, I'm just telling it, hey, take the before, show me the after, and here are your guidelines for compression. So remove filler words, consolidate similar instructions. So if there's repetition, it consolidates it. Convert verbose descriptions to concise commands. So if you remember when ChatGPT first came out, there was these cheat sheets and technically there still are on LinkedIn saying, hey, use these top 10 commands, analyze, create, introspect, etc." If you structure things in command format, it's much better for an LLM. And in a way, it captures a lot of words with just one main word. And then we have some additional instructions here, which is basically keep the actual core soul of the prompt intact. Just change all the noise and remove all the fat underlying it. Now I'm going to make the custom GPT, this prompt and all the other assets in the video available in the Gumroad link in the description below. So don't worry about screenshotting it. You can have it. All right. So that was the lazy method. Now on the technical side, I'm not going to go too deep and go into algorithm design, go into determining which tokens are high value or low value and why. I'm just going to show you how you can implement this from a technical perspective. So one thing I used was this framework that came out from Microsoft called LLM Lingua. So there was a first version and then a second version came out four or five months ago. And I basically took their compression algorithm and I made my own version of it, which is way lighter and not necessarily better. I would assume this is still better than what I did, but just easier to implement whether you're technical or not. So if we go into my Google Collab here, you'll see I put together a diagram of what my code does and what you have to do is just click runtime, run all, and then enter your prompt. And then if you want to simulate each prompt actually working, you will just have to enter your API key. So I'll show you shortly what that means. So in this case, you enter your prompt, it will compress the prompt, it'll show the result of the compressed prompt, and then it will simulate responses if you want them to. So in the core code here, there's a lot of things going on, but pretty much we're taking out all the low value tokens, meaning when you look at the after outcome, the sentences most likely won't be coherent. We'll be killing all the filler words and keeping all the things that are of high value and directional importance. So if I just do runtime run all, so once this runs, it will prompt me to add a prompt and then it will simulate the before and after. So while this is running, I'm going to go and grab our original prompt here that I wanted to compress. So let's take this and we'll go into here and you'll see here it says enter your prompt. So I'm just going to enter this and then click enter. Now this will keep running and it will run for free. So you don't need to actually pay for this feature because it's using GPT-2, which is widely available now and you don't have to actually enter an API key. Once this finishes, this will show you in an HTML that I designed just to make it look prettier on the eyes. This is the compressed prompt and you can see it is nonsensical if you read it in English. So immersive, informative travel blog post, Qatar, captivate readers and transport them, yada, yada, yada. And then you'll see it is much more succinct than this much larger prompt. And then one thing I added is just the summary of how many tokens were removed, how many were retained, and then an overview for you on which tokens I actually removed and which ones were retained. And again, what I created was a derivative of the open source, basically uh, documentation from LLM Lingua. And then if you want to simulate how both prompts perform and you click or say yes here, it'll ask you for your open AI key. So I have that ready for me in this tab here. So I'll just paste this. And what this is going to do is going to simulate the first prompt 
what the actual output would be, and then simulate the second prompt. All right, so this is the output of the first one. We won't go through it in depth, but you can see here, it's exactly what we're asking for. So these hashtags denote like the subtitles and headers. And as we go down to the bottom here, when you go to simulating compressed prompt, you'll see it also was able to generate a blog post. Now, would, the, would I say that this blog post is as good as the first? It really comes down to preference of how verbose you want it to be. But the bottom line is you were able to execute pretty much the same command using a fraction of the tokens or words to actually execute it. Now, if you don't like Google Collab in normal Mark fashion, I wasn't satisfied with just this. So I ended up using a tool called bolt.new to put together a little UI that makes this a lot more playful and fun. So I actually deployed it and I'll make the actual link to this available also in the Gumroad in the description below. When you go to it, all you have to do is actually enter the prompt. So I'm going to copy this, go back and then paste it and then click on compress prompt because it's gonna be super quick. It loads this immediately and it'll tell you how many tokens were removed, how many were retained. It will show you the original prompt and then the compress prompt. And then it will show you which tokens were retained and which ones were removed. Now, interesting thing here is note that the word create a command was retained. So that kind of re-emphasizes what we were saying. And also the word start here. So all the command words seem to always be consistently, whether it's the lazy method or the technical method, noted as high value. So you can even take that away for your general prompting strategies. And if we go to the bottom here to do the simulate both prompts, all you have to do is click on configure API key. I made it so you can add yours seamlessly and just have it run. So if I go back here, copy and then paste, this will then become green. I can click on simulate both prompts. It'll send the original prompt and the compressed prompt. So you can see what the actual performance looks like. So it took around a minute and a half and then we got the result for both the original and the compressed. And then one thing I asked in Bolt was to make it available to be easily copied. So you have this little copy button and you could put both side by side. But again, it looks like both have a solid output for this blog post. And it's all a matter of dialing in that compressed prompt to make sure you're getting exactly what you're looking for. While the costs of LLMs have gone down a lot, they're still not free. So if you're working in a business format and an enterprise format where you're running the same jobs hundreds, if not millions of times, even saving 200 to 400 tokens could mean you're saving anywhere from five to 10 to $20,000 in LLM costs per month. And if you combine prompt compression with something like prompt caching, which is now available in OpenAI, Anthropic, and Gemini, then you can really benefit from a lot of cost savings while still not compromising too much on the output or the desired outcome. Now I could go super deep into prompt compression from a technical standpoint, but for the sake of this video, I'll just keep it here. You'll have everything you need in the Gumroad link in the description below. And other than that, if you love content like this, I would super appreciate that you like, sub the channel and leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.